Wayne, I've known Wayne for a couple, three years now, yeah. and uh, you, he, Wayne has one of the nicest van conversions I've ever seen, just full of creative ideas that I think you're going to really enjoy and find some you want to apply to yourself or at least consider. So Wayne, tell us a little about yourself. How did you end up being uh, living in a van? I was a trim carpenter and I hurt my knee, so while, while I was getting workman's comp, because the doctor told me right from the beginning I'd never be able to go back to work. So right from the beginning I, I sold my pickup and I bought this and started fixing it up because I was going to go on a three month trip. And six months later I went back, and got rid of all my stuff and drove back down here. So, so. Uh, it was maybe just a, 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 going to be just trips in, at the beginning but you kind of yeah. fell in love with it doing it? Oh yeah, there's nothing I don't like about it right from the beginning. And the tiny space isn't a problem? Not at all. I made it so it was all open. I didn't worry at all about storage. I right. didn't, didn't give out a thought because I wanted to be able to live in here. So small is okay as long as it feels big. Right. Yeah, there's plenty of room. Plenty of room. And of course, being a trim carpenter, you finished it up really nice. It helped. It helped, <laughs> yeah. And you worked as a campground host for a little while. To the first tie two you years. Over. Yeah, the first two years worked the camp ground host and uh, this is my third year so I'm getting social security now so I'm taking off this year. So, <laughs> Okay well let's go ahead and take a look inside and uh, take the grand tour of your wonderful little home. So Wayne let's start with your front seat. Uh, the first thing that's obvious is you've turned it around. Yeah it's on a swivel. It's on a swivel I so it goes back and forth. Yeah I think it was $250 for that oh, swivel. Wow. It's a lot of money but it's definitely worth it. And you found that it was uh, pretty easy to install? Did yeah. it go pretty yeah, well? Just unbolt the seat, bolt that down. It's simple. And you just looked um, van swivel seats and found it online? Yeah, it was, I forget the name of the website, but you can find them. And what it does is it gives you a, a really outstanding, comfortable place to sit. Yeah, without and you can still use it for passengers. Right, yeah, swivel it around either way. So that would be the next thing to notice is the stove is right here at the door. You can cook inside, yeah. outside, or sitting in your seat. Yeah, that's where I'll just sit here and cook. Watch TV. So you got a TV on a swivel stand. Yeah, so I can watch that sitting here or laying in bed or outside if I want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Football game's on, a nice day, a nice evening. Maybe not the ball game, but... <laughs> <laughs> and so you... Well, it's just really, uh, it's really versatile. There's up, have adjustable shelves in there. Okay, so now we're looking at the kitchen. With the important things. Beer and uh, B8. <laughs> so I get my vegetables. Right. And my dishes, that's all the dishes I got. And here I have my uh, silverware. But do you have a working plumbing system? No. No, I did have a sink air and I took it all out because it was worthless. It just didn't, you didn't, you didn't use it enough to make it worth it. It's, you just make a big mess trying to do something in the van. I got a place in the back where I do that. Right, where you make a big mess. <laughs> all right. I have a air conditioner, and that's a 16-inch radiator fan. Off of an auto? Uh, well, I bought it from Amazon. But it's supposed to move 2,500 cubic feet a minute. I got it on speed control. It's down low now. So um, you sleep across the back of the van. Right. And uh, it's wide enough for you? It's right in the center, it's 5 foot 11, and if you're on an angle, it's way over 6 feet, so and I'm 5'7". And you got really nice uh, wood finish, because of course being a finished carpenter, you, you've got a pretty good idea of how to do that. Yeah. But you, it's within reach of the average person. Oh, this was simple. This, this is just planks. You put up one at a time. I glued some uh, one by material up there first before I insulate it. And this is just nailed right through because I was doing it myself with no help. So. There's my freezer. It just rolls out real easy. It's 
glasses for my window. I can either have the black side out if I want to be stealthy. So it's a big winter, probably 65 yeah. quart, just Six. exactly like mine. Exactly like yours. Yeah. So it just rolls in and out. You've got I've the doors it. bended. It's uh let's see I got it. I think February, three years ago, so it's three years old. Well, it served you well then. Good. Yeah, it's still it's still going fine. I just redid all my batteries are underneath the front part of the seat. I just redid all of them, got new uh AMG batteries. Sorbent glass mat AM. AGM, yeah. <laughs> AGM. Sorbent glass mat batteries. And uh got a three thousand watt inverter and a sixty amp converter charger. And last weekend I put my uh automatic transfer switch in. So now when I plug in it just does it automatically, switches over to shore or generator. And you have a generator you carry? Yeah. Yeah, for my air conditioner. There's some of the key things. Uh, in the back here, on this back wall, we'll go back and look at this little garage in a second. He's got this radiator fan and it blows in or out. Is it both? No, no just, so just out. Pulls the so air so out. And beside it is an air conditioner. And what size is the air conditioner? 5,000 BTU. And you're running that off of your solar? Uh, it won't quite run off the solar. It'll, it'll still be draining my battery. But, uh, with the motor started, it, it will run if I have some. Okay, good. It uh, pulls 3.9 amps, and it's got a low voltage start. It's Ener Energy Star rated, so it's 3.9 amps. My batteries are running supposedly for six hours. So I'm sitting back in your easy chair, and this is what I'm seeing. Not, you know, it's very nice, very pleasant. I'm looking outside around the, and here's your your stove. I can set up here and cook. There's the TV. There's the TV. I could, and I know you have your computer hooked up to that. Yeah. And so you can set and use your computer. You know, all I got to do is move the mouse, and the computer comes on. And I have a tuner on the computer too, where I can record TV shows. Right. So you have a on a over-the-air TV is what you're getting. Mm -hmm. And you found you do pretty well in most places. You get yeah. some or most. Yeah, uh, well, I think here I got 23 channels, but most of them were Spanish. Yeah. So. <laughs> here in the Southwest, you get a lot of Spanish channels. And I just put the uh, King antenna. That's what that little white thing in the ceiling back uh -huh. there. That turns it. You rotate it from yeah. the side. Which uh, I already got one station, one English station with that. So I still have my other antenna. And here's your antenna. Are you running that off of your solar or generator? Your microwave. Oh no, that usually just the uh, yeah. I can run that and the air conditioner at the same time, no problem. Off the off off the batteries. Off. Oh, it's a three thousand three thousand watt pure sine wave inverter. It, it doesn't even blink. So here's the uh, porta potty kit, well hidden. It's it's the biggest one I could find. Just put a little toilet paper on the bottom and. And just take a jug of water, and after you go, just flush it out with a jug of water. And I just put a little bit of bleach. Can you smell the bleach? I can smell the bleach, but yeah. nothing else. Yeah, that's that's all. I put a little bit of bleach in. I usually, put a gallon of water in there because I don't use that to to flush because it doesn't do nothing. And yeah, and just that little bit of bleach keeps it smelling good. And, and you got a keeps curtain. it all disinfected. Oh Cur yeah, a curtain that pulls across for privacy at night, darkness. And this I found from uh, looking at your blog, somebody had this. Uh, I was trying to put a metal rod across there and it, right. it just don't work. And you're just using a bungee cord. Bungee cord. And then you just hook it up there. Gets it nice and tight. So it's just a, a drapery is, hanging through with a bungee cord through it. Yeah, it keeps it nice and tight. And over here I just use the magnets to go on the door when the door is closed. Very good idea there. Yeah, when I'm at a truck stop or something, I don't bother with the window stuff. And you get these at uh, Walmart. They're supposed to block 99% of the light. Use a, use a magnet on each side of there to 
keep you closed in the middle. So the magnet here just uh, keeps them tight. And that works. If I don't feel like putting anything on the windows, I can just put that on. So you're uh, having a carpenter. You have a lot of tools being a carpenter. So I do my dishes. There you go. Dishes right there. I got my dish soap right there. I can hang my solar shower up there to rinse. This is one inch angle arm that supports everything I can put on there. And you've got there's you've got a Yamaha 2000. Yeah, and I got a little generator behind it. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, if I ever get a trailer, I was thinking about using that for because I bought the 60 amp uh, converter here, and uh, that little one won't run it. So I had to get a bigger one. Well, plus, I wanted to run the air conditioner off the generator. One of the questions people face is, uh, what do they do with their propane tank, their generator, their their gas can? And you've just given it its own yeah. little garage here in the back. Yeah, and it's uh, it's well ventilated. I even put a heater hose up there to keep the door from closing all the way. Yeah. So the door is always cracked open. Plus, I have the vent up top. So, and just you so know, when it's exhausting, it just exhausts out there and all around the doors because it's real loose. I don't have the weather strip in there. So. You don't have to worry about dust coming in because it's sealed from the inside of the van. Yeah, and because I have to have the doors open to run the air conditioner, but nobody can get inside. So and easy, really good, easy access to your tools. Well organized, right there. Yeah, everything's tells you what they are. You can just grab it. <laughs> Different wrenches, different sizes. Really, really amazing. That's, I, I, you know, I just have always thought this was one of the one of the smartest things I've ever seen for, for especially for men and tools. And we should say that that's your actually your bed under there. Yeah, this is the other you half. You sleep of the on bed. top of that. And I used uh, spray foam, uh, fire retardant, closed cell foam, two part foam. I just built two little walls and. Uh, for the overhang, I ran a piece of steel across, but you could use the two before, and then you just build that wall on that the back part of the bed. Right, and you've got a, well, it's not a power vent, just a vent. Yeah, my Wi-Fi antenna is up there for hook to the computer. And, uh, so if I'm at uh, McDonald's or whatever, I can pick the signal up there. And there's the AC, which is sets on out in the garage and then blows in actually into and you use it often you actually use it oh yeah use it all the time okay let's take a look at your solar which is equally outstanding right. so now we're on your roof and looking at your uh your solar power system yeah i just i just bought another panel uh, so i had to change the way i had it mounted i bought these two inch square aluminum pipe These are two and a half inch angle or and I'll just cut into two inch pieces. And this little little one there, so when it lays down it sits right on this. And not the bolt lines right up. They're well tilt either direction. And so what how many panels do you have here? It's uh three of them, they're 150 watt a piece, and it's 450. Well it's really an outstanding system, like everything else, it's uh it's really, really well done. So the panels are mounted on angle iron here. Yeah, just one bolt on either side when and they lower. Just the one bolt with uh, with wing nuts so that they're easy to take off. Mm -hmm. You would undo, to, to tilt this side, you would undo... Take them off. You take the off the wing the nut. Yeah. And then over here, you have the exact same thing with a wing nut. You'd undo that, that arm and move the arm over to here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then reattach the those supports. wing nuts. Yeah, and all the wires and all lift up with the panels, so there's no strain on the wires. Well, Wayne, thank you so much for the tour of your vehicle home. It's just amazing. You've just uh, so many cr really good creative ideas here for people to, to consider for themselves. Well, Thanks thank for uh, sharing with us. Thank you, Bob. We'll talk to you later. All righty.